हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एफ एम स्टीरियो मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एफ एम स्टीरियो मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग डिजाइंड टू ट्रांसमिट टू सेपरेट सिग्नल्स थ्रू द सेम चैनल so fm stereo multiplexing is a form of frequency division multiplexing that is designed to transmit two separate signals through a same channel so two different form of signals will be transmitted through a same channel the process is known as fm stereo multiplexing it consists of two parts first one is fm stereo transmitter and fm stereo receiver first let us understand the fm stereo transmitter let us consider m l of t and m r of t as two message signals that are picked up by left hand and right hand microphones of transmitting end of the system so we are considering two message signal ml of t and mr of t this message signal is picked up by a microphone from left hand side and right hand side so this transmitter uses pilot frequency fc is equal to 19 kilohertz it also uses frequency doubler which produces sub carrier so this is the block diagram of fm stereo transmitter so here two input message signals are ml of t and mr of t so these two message signals are passed through a matrixer that will produce two outputs ml of t plus mr of t and ml of t minus mr of t so ml of t plus mr of t is given as input to the adder here ml of t minus mr of t is multiplied by a sub carrier cos 4 pi fct so this sub carrier is produced by frequency doubler where it takes the input from the pilot carrier with frequency fc is equal to 19 kilohertz so pilot carrier will produce cos 2 pi fct so using this signal the frequency doubler will produce a sub carrier which is cos 4 pi fct so that doubles the signal the same cos 2 pi fct is multiplied by a constant k to produce k cos 2 pi fct so here we'll get three signals at the output first one is ml of t plus mr of t plus ml of t minus mr of t that is multiplied with cos 4 pi fct plus it will be having a signal k cos 2 pi fct therefore output of multiplexer is m of t that can be written as ml of t plus mr of t plus ml of t minus m r of t that is multiplied with cos 4 pi of ct plus k cos 2 pi of ct let us call this as equation number 1 so in this equation ml of t plus mr of t is known as base band signal so ml of t minus mr of t multiplied with cos 4 pi fct is dsbsc signal and k cos 2 pi fct is the pilot carrier signal so output of fm stereo transmitter produces three signals first one is base band signal second one is dsbsc signal and third one is the pilot carrier signal now let us understand fm stereo receiver so this is the block diagram of fm stereo receiver 
which performs demultiplexing of the signal. So transmitter performed multiplexing of the signal. FM stereo receiver will perform the demultiplexing of the signal. FM stereo receiver consists of three filters. First one is baseband low pass filter. This baseband low pass filter selects baseband components. Second one is band pass filter. Band pass filter selects the DSBSC signal. The narrow band filter selects the pilot carrier. So FM receiver has three filters, base band filter, band pass filter and narrow band filter. The input to the receiver is multiplexed signal M of T which consists of base band component, DSBSC component and pilot signal carrier. So the base band low pass filter selects only the base band component from the received signal. The band pass filter selects only DSBSC signal from the received signal and narrow band filter selects only the carrier signal from the input received signal. Here the frequency doubler will produce the required subcarrier that is required for the coherent detection. So output of baseband filter will be ML of T plus MR of T. So that is given to a matrix as a input. The output of coherent detector will be ML of T minus MR of T that is given as input to the matrixer. So using these two signals, the matrixer will produce the output which is 2 ML of T and 2 MR of T which is our original signal that are multiplied by 2. So if we divide by 2, we can recover the original message signal. So output of baseband filter is ML of T plus MR of T. The output of coherent detector is ML of T minus MR of T. So finally, the matrixer will produce the required signal to ML of T and to MR of T. This is about FM stereo multiplexing. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.